Okay, so I had to do a small alteration to the frame. I had to make the section wider so that I can fit the battery through the back. It'll have a cover uh, and the cover will be removable so that I can insert the battery through the back and I don't have to go through the sides or the front and disturb a seat or the panels on the body. I relocated uh, the uh, servos. Um, I had them up here before and then I relocated to the back but I think I'm going to bring these servos somewhere under the seat here, somewhere around here, so that the weight uh, comes a little bit forward because even with the battery here, if we start putting too much gear at the back, it's going to be a little bit tail heavy and I don't want to make any adjustments uh, uh, you know, on the wing. The wing is already set up. The uh, center of gravity is already set up on the root tube in line with the universal joint and so everything's been uh, set up here so these are just slight adjustments uh, uh, everything else is pretty much the same and I just left this uncovered so we can capture this video uh, the seat will still be same location where it was before and I just have to relocate this where it was okay so that's about it I think I'm going to also add another bar here just to uh, keep this uh, keep this area locked yeah I think I'm gonna do that I think I have a small enough tube somewhere in here I need to go to my shop and get one so I don't see it here yeah these are all the same size okay so I need to go to my shop and grab a two, two inch uh, uh, tube and I'm going to brace this area right here the control panel uh, is uh, my first mock-up it's just a molded part you know I molded this earlier from uh, the wood plugs that I showed in the earlier section of this video that's going to go right there okay so the servo will come back here to its original place that I had this will be the steering ser servo no need to change that I was uh, I had to remove this because I was originally thinking of putting the battery a little bit further here and I even machined some spacers here to widen this up, but it's not necessary because I really want to install the battery through the back and just slide it right through. So the back I'm cover will have a, a strap here for the battery, so that that's not going anywhere. This is not going anywhere. You know, once it reaches the seat, the seat itself provides a backing there, so it's not going anywhere. So I think we're okay on in that respect. I've been working uh, on the body, um, working on the control system. And uh, I still need to make these parts. I haven't done these yet. I, I, I got the, the drawing already set up. I just have to shoot those parts to the CNC machine and, and do that. But I've been, you know, this is minor. I've been really wanting to take care of the battery. That was bothering me a little bit. And I have also added some uh, additional braces here, which I did not have on the original frame, uh, just for added uh, support and uh, triangulation. So this has no movement whatsoever. I was getting a little bit of a, a uh, shifting on, on, the, on the frame even though I have brace and everything's triangulated towards the back and I replaced this instead of going with two pieces I went with one piece just to maintain a, a little more solid structure towards the back of the motor support so once I did that you know it uh, it, it really came came all uh, together uh, much much stronger even than what I had no room for flexing with all the triangulation that I'm doing here I did a similar triangulation a tubular frame for uh, the GWS ultralight conversion kit. Uh, if you take a look at some of the videos that I did, uh, keyword latest uh, GWS conversion kit for 2016, I did a similar frame and I did it for one uh, of my customers because he wanted a, another frame and I said, you know, let me let me make it uh, even stronger. Uh, of course, the original GWS frame was a much sim simpler frame and I still sell those frames uh, through my website. And it's simpler because most people just fly the GWS, they just take the wings, the original equipment, they transfer it over, and that's the purpose I did that frame very lightweight, the original one. The one I did for this particular customer of mine, where I triangulated and I made the frame a lot more beefier, it was because he was installing a lot heavier equipment and he was going with uh, uh, FPV equipment and gear, and uh, you know he really wanted a, a really, really uh, strong frame for all, all his setup. Uh, much heavier batteries, etc. Et so that frame needed to be stronger. Uh, it was more of a customized uh, frame uh, for him. And by basically, I've carried the same idea here, and it's basically the same idea that I, that I, you know, said before. I use on the um, 
Quicksilver Ultralight and even some Ultralights that I have not shown yet. I, I, mean, I still I, have, I have work to do here. It's going to take some time to do the body and I'm taking my time because that's the ultimate uh, detail that will put the finishing on, on so this. I think this weekend I might take this one out for a spin without the uh, the cover and because it's pretty much done just have to you know finish all these little parts that I need to uh, tweak. I'm really itching to fly. I mean I've been stuck here in my temporary studio which is this table here and that's why it's a little messy here. So once again this is Mario with me and Michael. Stay tuned for more.